Hi people, there are basically two ways to get exalted with Argentan, grinding Skolomance or grinding Stratham Undead. Both dungeons gives about the same amount of reputations, but there are still differences that are important to look at. But before we examine the differences between the dungeons, we're gonna look at the differences between each level of reputation with Argentan. There are basically three factors determining which standing you wanna achieve. The gold you wanna pay for attunement, the shoulder enchant, and the epic frost resistance gear for the next Ramas. We'll take a look at each factor and then decide which level of reputation that could be worth going for. Afterwards, we'll compare the two dungeons and decide which one you should grind. And then, in the end, I'll provide some general tips for the grind. As for the attunement, the higher the standing, the lower the cost. The lowest required level for attuning is honored, at which level you'll need 5 arcane crystals, 2 nexus crystals, 1 righteous orb and 60 raw gold. A total of perhaps 450 gold. At revert it's 2 arcane crystals, 1 nexus crystal and 30 raw gold, so maybe 200 gold. And at exalted it's free. As for the shoulder resistance enchant, you get access to plus 5 against a particular school of magic at Reverd. To unlock this, you need to turn in 10 Argent Dawn Valor tokens. At Exalted, you get access to plus 5 against, well, all in one schools of magic for 25 Argent Dawn Valor tokens. Once you've done these quests, you can buy the enchants with gold. Finally, Epic Frost Resistance Gear. The crafted pieces can either be made by a player with a proper profession and skill, or from NPCs at the Argent Dawn. The player with the proper professions will need Exalted with Argent Dawn to learn the receipts, which are obtained from a NPC inside a cage in the first room of the military quarter in Nexramas, and these are free by the way. So if you have 300 in blacksmithing, leatherworking or tailoring, you probably want to farm Exalted Reputation with Argent Dawn. Now, the NPCs at Argent Dawn will demand a hefty crafting fee, about 200 gold per piece. So even if you as a blacksmither, leatherworker or tailorer ask for a 25 gold crafting fee, the buyers will still save both time and money. So, which standing should you aim for? Leatherworker, blacksmithers and tailors who want to craft the epic resistance pieces must go exalted. Everyone else should probably go revered. The time it takes you to grind another 21k reputation simply isn't worthwhile when you only save 200 gold. You could also make the case that even grinding from honor to revered isn't worth the gold saved, as it likely will take you a couple of hours and you only save about 250 gold or so. It really depends on how fast you can farm gold versus how fast you can clear Skolomance or Stratham. As for the shoulder enchant, you should really only grab the frost resistance one and put it on your epic frost resistance shoulder, so no need for exalted here either. And speaking of the two dungeons, let's have a look at them. Both dungeons have about the same number of trash mobs, which will drop roughly the same amount of invader scourge stones and give reputation up until revered. However, Skolomance has more bosses, meaning more scourge tokens. You can also obtain dark runes inside the instance. Most mobs are also casters, meaning smaller health pools and less armor. There are also more walls inside, meaning that you can use line of sight to get the mobs to you a lot easier. Meanwhile, in Stratham Undead, you have access to Holy Water, which is very strong in Nexramas. Personally, I'd recommend mainly casters to obtain the water, as it scales one to one with spell power. It is of course better if everyone in the raid has it, but the water is simply much stronger when combined with high spell crit and spell power. Now, if you complete the dungeon in time, you also get a bonus 150 reputation from saving the NPC Yusida, and everyone in the groups get this bonus. Completing the dungeon within the 45 minute timer shouldn't cause any form of issues to a decent group. And of course, Riven there can theoretically drop a mount. Personal preferences matters a lot, of course, and there is no obvious reason that one is better than the other. However, because of the 150 reputation bonus from Undead, it would be a better dungeon to grind if you want everyone in the group to farm reputation. 
If you, however, are trying to get a gildy or someone you know with the proper professions to Exalted, then doing Skolomance and giving all the Scourge Stones to that player would produce a higher reputation per hour. If you are a healer, you can often reserve the Dark Runes inside Skolomance, which are both helpful when healing in raids, but also are worth quite a bit of gold on the auction house. As you probably know, Trash stops giving reputation past revered. So if you're going for Exalted, you should save all the quests and Scourge Stones and such until you've hit revered as that, in the end, will create the fastest grind. If you are, however, only going for revert, just turning everything in straight away is the best option. Make sure to save 10 or 25 Argenton Valor tokens for the Shoulder Enchant as well. Now, you do get a small amount of reputation with Argenton inside Nexramas as well, and since you don't need the Frost Resistance gear until you've reached Saffron, which will likely take most guilds a couple of weeks, you don't necessarily have to grind Exalted before December 3rd. And meanwhile you can grind Reputation from the Scourge Invasion events, at least up to Honored, be aware that the Scourge Invasion and Nexrama's opening happens at the same time. But a lot of players will still be grinding the Invasion sites for Scourge tokens to get access to the limited Scourge weapon oils. It might be worth looking into this a bit deeper to avoid grinding more reputation from dungeons than you have to. And finally, there are some repeatable turn-ins with the cauldrons that you can do up to at least honor, but the smoothest method when grinding reputation is without a doubt just doing Skolomance or Stratham Undead. So, good luck with your grind and don't forget to equip your trinkets. And that was all for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'll be back soon with another video, so until then, see ya!